Okay, now um, I went into the log and I moved it to expanding the base. And he wants two microprocessors. The scientist had given us the recipe for that. We need chromatic metal and nanotubes. Copper is used to make chromatic metal. We need 40 for each processor. Let's see what we got in our container. So we have 81 chromatic metal. That's enough. Um, we need two of them. So, oh wait, do, did I have a microprocessor in here? I have one. All right, so we just need one. So nanotubes. And then E will use the um, chromatic metal, 40, and carbon nanotubes. The carbon nanotubes had cost us 50 carbon to make. So 50 carbon and um, 40 chromatic metal to make one microprocessor. All right, so we can actually put the chromatic metal back in the container there and return to the overseer. Sales Gek Jacopi. I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asked for the microprocessors so they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. I give the microprocessors. You have done so well, friend. I am so very happy. 40 chromatic metal and 25 pugnium. So we're going to need 40 chromatic metal and 25 pugnium. Sales Gek Jacopi says, Now imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. I don't agree with that. So it is with the sentinels and their attacks. But no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels and bring back their pugnium. I accept. The sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. Now let me see my multi-tool. I need a I would like a bulk caster if I'm going to fight them which requires 100 chromatic metal and 100 uh, and two nanotubes. So let's make a bulk caster. Do I have ammunition? Yeah, I have 124 ammunition. So Let's put the refiner down. And let's cook some of the copper to make chromatic metal. Just, I'm just going to throw uh, 65 copper. I need less than that, but because we have chromatic metal in here. 40. So 
so I feel a little better using a bulk caster against the Sentinels. I really need a new um, multi-tool. This one is not, not that good. Okay, let's install the bulk caster. I need three nanotubes. Oh, I have 73 out of 100. I need 27 more. I'll need like, to get 27 more, I'll need 54 copper. Seventy nine units. I need to be sure I have space in my inventory for there's a chromatic metal. Um, we need three nanotubes, right? While we're here, carbon, silicate powder, make sure they're all full. Got three open inventory spots. Okay. Turn to the bulk caster. There, 665 units away. Let's see if we can draw him here by, uh, eh. Use the laser. Reinforcements arriving in one second. Suppression level two, moderate.
Okay, Sentinel searching. Sentinel force deactivated. How much pugnium do we get? We got 55, just enough to make the machine. Uh, weapons terminal, 25 pugnium, and we need 37 chromatic metal. Goodness, do we... We have to go back and make more chromatic metal. Let's drop some stuff in here while we do that. When we go to a store, we'll pick up, pick this stuff back up. Okay, we have the pugnium. Um, 37, so we need 74 copper. We have that. Um, Let's just do the rest of this. What does a large refiner cost us? A lot of chromatic metal, sodium nitrate, and five microprocessors. And I'd like to get the oxygen harvester as well. All right, but first the weapons terminal. Let's see what we got here. All right, we have what we need. Stop. Let's go put the copper back in there. Shall we just put all of the supervisors in the same space here? Weapons terminal. How about right here? Okay, let's head to the wait. Now it's tell me to contact Apollo. But expanding the base. Why does it want 50 pugnium? Am I going to have to do this again with these sentinels? There are no sentinels in the area. Let's do the quest then of reporting to Apollo. We'll deal with the sentinels later. Oh, there's one. Uh, you know what? I... Uh, hmm.
Okay, you suppose that got us enough pugnium? Actually, 78 pugnium. So let's go. Okay, return to the overseer. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh, their pugnium? The overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asks me for the pugnium I have gathered. Give pugnium. Sales Gek Jacopi presents me with reward, as I knew they would. Friend, there is another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. Does my help mean so little to you that you would tarry so? You must recruit an armorer before we can proceed. The overseer requires me to build a weapons terminal and recruit a Viking armorer from my base. Except, Splendid, I do enjoy our Viking friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. Okay, we have the weapons terminal here. So we need to hire an armorer. For the base. Let's use the teleporter. Novice for destroying five sentinels. Mm, you know what? Uh, Space stations, current system, warp to Shigawa orbital. We'll launch from the space station. I don't think it costs any launch fuel. Oh, you know, I should have sold some of my items. Oh, well, we can sell them later. trying to keep the video moving along on the quest lines so um, I'm for I forget to do a few routine things let's see if we have anything we can sell here I don't want to sell the pugnium because it comes in handy When we launch into outer space, we'll have Apollo contact us. So let's go to Ghost in the Machine. Report into Apollo with news of your base and staff. Return to space to make contact. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Let's make sure we have purchased an expansion slot for our inventory here. Okay, yes, we have. Okay, the communicator, do X, F. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for, if not to assert dominance, over your fellow life forms? Now, that is incorrect. But on to more important things. So this, he's evil. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition we can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really, the same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. And communication. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift, my little investment into our partnership. Okay, I'll need a wiring loom for that, uh, which I would get at the space station, in fact. 
So let's head back in and let's install the personal force field. We'll buy the wiring loom in the space station. Here at Shigawa Orbital. E to go out, shift to run. Okay, and we saw we would need a wiring loom for this. We'll buy one. Okay, now E to install. And I'm out of space. I've got everything I can fit in that. Let's look at the... Let's look at the multi-tool here real quick because we're getting desperate for a multi-tool with more space. It's a class B and it's got a lot more spots. 2385000 and that would be all that we had. We're going to need more money to get that. I may have to play offline on this for a little while and just buy and sell stuff for a little bit unless you want to see that too if you want to see that too you can comment underneath now x and f will summon the anomaly Let's see if um, we can get an extra equipment slot on the anomaly here. I don't think so. Uh, we could spend salvage data here. I got 15 salvage data on the ship, so... Let's let's do that. Let's spend the salvage data while we're here. The salvage data where we spend it is right next to where we check for the backpack slot. Shift to go quicker. That's why it has that purple symbol above the machine for me to spend my salvage data. Nope, I already got the slot here. Yeah, I'm going to need to go to other star systems to get more slots. Okay, now for 15 data... I'll spend three on the square room. It's a little more space in there. I have 12 left. Okay. 
I spent three on the foundation. That's a base unit for all projects providing a solid foundation for any structure. Can be anchored to all types of terrain. That sounds convenient to me. I could probably use a switch. And I'm going to, I have eight data. I'm going to get um, all the switches, the electrical cloaking unit. cloaking unit that leaves me with two a message module Uh, well, autonomous mining unit. Got the message module and the communication station got one of those. You can leave messages for people with that. Okay. Now we couldn't get... Staff are available to hire in space stations. Okay, so I set it on armor on the quest choices. So we can work on that. I'm just going to stop by Helios real quick and get my nanites. Not that it matters, because I don't have room anyway. And I'll give him that on planets. And he gives me 45 nanites. Now you see the starship symbol is above our ship. Next to the exotic ship. Well, behind the exotic ship. No, there's two exotic ships here. Let's see. Um, we'll use the galaxy map and see if uh, it'll tell us where the armor is. And that'll put us in another system where we can get two more equipment slots, which is probably what we most need right now. So press X, arrow over and F, Is it possible to put it on current mission? Uh... 
with the eyeball is the Viking, I believe. And we're most likely to get an armor in a Viking system. So let's give it a try. So we will go to the space station and use the anomaly and then end this video. Uh, we'll get the item slots and we will see if we get an armor in this system. E to tag and space bar to warp. So offline, unless you ask me to do it on the video, I'm going to just explore between these three systems and make some money in order to buy the improved multi-tool and then I'll work on installing what we had in the previous tool. Oh, let's get the equipment slot. And grab. Woo, exosuit upgrade. 30,000 for this. Or 500,000 for the cargo. I think I'm going to just spend the 30,000 right now. We'll grab the, uh, we grab that. Grab that. Ensign, I rank. Um, conscript, guard, scout, guard, scout. I don't know, let's try, um, we'll try this guard. Poi, powerful, blah, blah, blah. As I approach the life form stuff something small and furry into a pocket, they fidget uncomfortably attempting to speak over the persistent squeaking. I request dialect help. He nods with solemn pride and he presents a screen of symbols, each appearing to be a concept I might learn. Now the Viking are aggressive, so I'll choose the aggression symbol. Then um, I talk to him again. Powerful death. All right. His furry thing in his pocket still. And I practice language skills with him. And I just use the one word I know, death. He laughs pityingly, interpreting my language as a weak threat. They punch me in the chest, perhaps more vigorously than they intended. Lovely. Okay. I am almost dead from the punch in the chest. Let me add oxygen to the life support. Let's try another one of these guys as long as he doesn't kill me. Conscript Inque. 
aid. The warriors sighs as I step into their space. They push aside the morsel they have been occupied with and stare at me with great impatience. I request dialect help. Conscript Inque grunts, jabbing at symbols on their data pad. These seem to represent categories of the Viking language. I get an aggression symbol. I learn the word for pathetic. All right, and uh, he repeats the same thing, and then I practice my language skills. I recall the two words, and I give him the word pathetic. He grins and disturbingly and whispers something threatening. My response must satisfy them. As they drop the sinister tone and chuckle to themselves, I seem to have earned their respect. And my standing increases by one. All right, let's try the flag bear. Death, 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 joyful. The warriors making snarling noises that sound strangely upbeat. They seem more cheerful than others of their kind. I request dialect help. He barks with in aggressive enthusiasm. And uh, I ask him for an aggression symbol. He teaches me a word for blood. I speak to him again. He goes with the death, 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 joyful. And uh, he makes his snarling noises that sound strangely upbeat. They seem more cheerful than others of their kind. Practice language skills. I inhale, thinking of some words, and I give him the word blood. He laughs, impressed by my aggressive language. And my standing increases by one. I speak to Ensign. I rank. Sentinels. Whatever. The life form greets me, gestures to a series of charts. They appear to be adding their own notes, adding what appears to be tallies. Next to certain locations, I request dialect help. He grunts, um, and uh, I ask him for mystery symbol. Okay. I speak to him again. He repeats the same thing about sentinels. And I practice my language skill. I recall some of the Viking words. Give him the word death. Hopefully he doesn't punch me again. Oh, I offended him. All right, so I gained one and decreased one. All right. I'll speak to Scout Umi Gipor. I know the armor will be one of these Viking. The being looked at me with great expectation as I approached. Having assessed me, however, I appear to have been found wanting. They give me their attention, but their focus is clearly on the entrance, as of waiting for another. I request dialect help. Scout Omigooper draws themselves up, proud to be teaching their language. And I ask him for an aggression symbol. Gives me the word for coward. I speak to him. And I practice language skills. I say the word coward. 
He laughs, impress my aggressive language, and my Viking standing goes up. All right, Viking at arms. Yip you gang, yip you gang. I approach the warrior, but they barely acknowledge my presence. Though they look in my direction, their gauge is fixed on a point far beyond my eyes. I request dialect help. He barks a query. When I do not respond, they present a list of symbols, aggression symbol. He teaches me a word of his language, the word for war. Okay, I approach the warrior, but they barely acknowledge my presence. Practice language skills. He toys with his multi-tool as he listens for what I have to say. I use the word death. He looks outraged. They stare me down, threatening me. All right, Viking standing goes up one and goes down one. Goes up one, goes down one. Let's try another. Um, I learned 30 words and I got five stars interpreter. Three stars recognized met 30 aliens. Okay, I'll speak to the scout. The warrior's hackles rise as they start to shake in anticipation of my request. I must take care not to push them too far. I request dialect help. He grunts, jamming at symbols, and uh, I ask him for a Viking symbol. Viking high, pathetic, coward. The warrior's hackles rise, as uh, they did before. I must take care not to push him too far. I practice my skills in the hope of impressing Scout in Giaxi. And I give him the word Viking because death has been getting a bad reaction. He chuckles softly to himself as though he doesn't quite believe I understand the meaning of the word. Leave. All right. Guard Mobagang. Mobang Marg. This Viking the 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 death. As I approach the life form stuffs something small and furry into a pocket. He fidgets uncomfortably, attempting to speak over the persistent squeaking. I request dialect help from him. He presents to me a list of symbols. I ask him for a Viking symbol. And he teaches me the word interloper. Okay, so this Viking the, the death. And uh, he still is playing with the small furry thing in his pocket. Practice language skills. He's silent and listening. I give him the word Viking. He looked startled as though they had not expected me to know this word. I seem to have impressed them. And I get one on my standing. All right, let's see. Visited, visited, visited. Liquidator, more in Breary. Sleeping. The warrior's eyes keep shutting, their breathing labored and broken. They suddenly appear to notice me, jolting to attention as they do. I request dialect help. He nods thoughtfully, then presents a list of language symbols. I get an aggression symbol, and I get the word sentinel. He repeats the same things. 
The warrior's eyes keep shutting, their breathing labored and broken. They suddenly appear to notice me, jolting to attention as they do. Practice language skills. He leans towards me, liquidator more and breary, their breath hot and moist on my visor. I recall several Viking words I might say to them. I say the word interloper. Liquidator Morinbury gasps aloud at the impact of this word. When they recover, it is to present me with a gift. He gives me a Viking dagger. Okay. Visited, 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 visited. I've about used all of these guys. And no, nothing about an armor here. All right. Well, um, I'm going to stop the game here. And uh, I'll be doing some work on this off screen. Uh, destroying the base. Um, and uh, getting some money. Looking for some stuff unless you want to see that. Let me know.